everyone. Welcome to Book Nook. This is a book club for kids from the Forsyth County Library. My name is Miss Joni and I work at the Cumming Branch. Today I'm going to talk to you about a couple of my favorite fantasy books. These books are books with epic voyages in them. Um, this book is called Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nim by Robert C. O'Brien. You can call it a journey, you can call it a quest, whatever you call it, you're sure to find a book full of intrigue and adventure, no matter what the story is. It's all about the quest of a mother. That's Mrs. Frisbee. She's on a quest to save her younger son, Timothy, who falls ill with pneumonia. He gets sick right when the harvest is about to happen, which is their moving season. They usually move away from the farm and into the safety of their summer home at that time. Um, but instead of that happening, she has to leave, leave her children behind and go on a quest to try to find medicine for her son. She enlists the help of some very unlikely allies, including a crow and an owl. <laughs> And eventually she also realizes she's gonna have to get the help of some mysterious rats that live nearby. They actually live underground. There's a secret about them that involves being involved in laboratory experiments. Now, Mrs. Frisbee's husband died, so she's all alone in this quest. And um, she's just trying to get all the help she can. Uh, will the rats be able to help Mrs. Frisbee? And do they know anything about the death of her husband? You will have to read the book to find out. Another book, if you're not into animals as the main character and you want books with people, this book is for you. It's called Gregor the Overlander and it's by Suzanne Collins. The Suzanne Collins wrote the Hunger Games series for teens. Uh, this book is just as exciting, but the world that it takes place in is underground, under the earth. And so I don't know about you guys, but I have been completely obsessed with the idea of a secret underground society that lives at the same time that we live, but they all live underground and they, they don't know anything about us and we don't know anything about them. If you like that concept, um, you would love this book. Gregor and his little sister that's two years old are doing an errand. They're in the laundry room of their apartment and before you know it, his sister finds herself uh, in a, an event. Basically, she gets lost and he has to go after her. In trying to find her, he, he and she both discover an underground world, uh, an underland, and all the creatures in the underland, some of them are human, but many of them are other animals like cockroaches, <laughs> um, bats, so if you're interested in fantasy, but maybe not all just animal characters, also just a, a journey of a brother and a sister, kind of a chosen one story. If you like the type of story where um, there's a prophecy in this book, the prophecy is to be fulfilled by Gregor the Overlander. Check it out, Gregor the Overlander. This book is also available in e-audiobook. We actually read this on a car trip. So if you're taking a trip this summer, with your family somewhere, you're leaving town and you want something to listen to together in the car, this book is really good. Uh, definitely recommend it on audio. All right, guys, so what good would a quest be without a, a vessel that you can voyage in? So today, if you click the description, if you're watching YouTube, or click the link in the bio, you'll have some instructions for how to make an origami boat. And if you've ever made origami, you know that it's a little bit tricky because you have to have square paper for most origami. But for this origami boat, as you can see, I just used a piece of regular eight and a half by 11 paper. You can even use notebook paper. And this is not even a fresh piece of paper. I took it right out of the recycle bin. The great thing about this boat is that it really floats, which I will show you. Also try using different materials. Try glossy paper, try maybe coating it with something. Um, see if you can make it more waterproof by using other materials and share with us if you end up doing that. But here's my boat that really floats. Ta-da! 
All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us for Book Nook today. And next week is all about animals. Bye.